calls mount for Chancellor to reverse winter fuel payment cuts. As the budget approaches, pressure is building on Chancellor Rachel Reeves to reconsider recent cuts to the winter fuel payments, a policy decision that has impacted around 10 million pensioners. Politicians and advocates from across the political spectrum are urging her to reinstate universal access to the payment, citing growing concerns over pensioner welfare as the coldest months approach. Politicians push for reversal to spare pensioners financial hardship. Leading the calls for action, former Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn criticised the government's decision to make the winter fuel payment means tested, describing it as a betrayal of pensioners who had counted on this crucial support. Universal payments ensure everyone who needs it, gets it, Corbyn argued, warning against further cuts and asking, what's next for means testing? The NHS? On the other side, Conservative MP Mel Stride also pressed Reeves to reverse course, calling the cuts a political choice that risk leaving low-income pensioners without timely assistance. Stride noted that delays in processing pension credit applications could result in funds arriving too late, depriving pensioners of needed support during the coldest months. He called the policy change a debacle and warned of punishing measures potentially on the horizon. Former Conservative leader Sir Ian Duncan Smith joined in the critique, calling the fuel payment reduction an unmitigated disaster. He argued that cutting this payment won't yield significant savings for the Treasury but will have a severe impact on pensioners who rely on this lifeline to make ends meet. This is a betrayal of pensioners, he stated, emphasizing that many older adults lack the financial flexibility to supplement their income. Campaigners warn of rising fuel poverty among elderly. Advocates for the elderly are also voicing alarm. Labour MP Rachel Maskell highlighted that the reduction has already left thousands of pensioners struggling, with many falling through the cracks due to pension credit eligibility requirements. The winter fuel payments were a lifeline to so many, she said, warning of an impending fuel poverty crisis among seniors who have yet to apply for the needed pension credit. Caroline Abrahams of Age UK expressed concern over the well-being of elderly citizens, many of whom are having sleepless nights, over heating costs. She stressed the urgency for Reeves to reconsider, rather than defending the indefensible, the government should take decisive action to protect pensioners this winter. Age UK reports that while the state pension is expected to rise next year, this change will not address the immediate need for assistance this winter. Government's response and resources for pensioners in response to these calls, a government spokesperson reaffirmed that those meeting the eligibility criteria for pension credit and winter fuel payments will receive assistance. Over a million pensioners will still receive the winter fuel payment, the spokesperson stated, noting that the government has mobilized 450 additional staff to manage the anticipated increase in pension credit applications. The spokesperson also emphasised that pensioners will receive help through other means, such as the £150 warm home discount and an extension of the Household Support Fund. These initiatives aim to address the overall cost of living, including heating, food, and other essential bills during the winter season. The budget's potential impact, a crossroads for pensioner support. With pensioner advocates, MPs, and campaigners warning of potential suffering for millions, all eyes are on the upcoming budget. For many, it's an opportunity for the Chancellor to undo recent changes and restore a universal winter fuel payment that guarantees aid to every elderly person facing rising fuel costs.